human impact researcher, it can be quite depressing because we've used marine environments for disposal of wastes for generations, partly because it's easy, you know, they're flushed away, it's not seen as a problem. Um, and I think partly because we don't empathise or value marine in habitats. Mm. From the ecotoxicology perspective, we have these um, emerging contaminants. They're basically contaminants that we don't know much about. But a lot of them are actually uh, pharmaceutical products that go through our system. So they're not just pills tossed down the toilet. They've actually been through a human being and gone through the sewage system and out into the estuarine or marine environment. And they're still very active at that point. So my specialty is metal contaminants. And um, they are probably the most common and the most toxic of the compounds. They bind to very small particles of mud and, and organic matter and then settle into the sediment. And so we've got legacies of historical contamination. I use a combination of lab field experiments but also monitoring approaches because it, the monitoring approaches can tell us a lot about what's going on in these complex systems. And animals that are tough are really good monitors because they bioaccumulate, they don't die, they stay there and you get an assessment of exposure. Our capacity to restore marine habitats or coastal habitats is, is virtually zero compared to our capacity to restore terrestrial habitats mm. because we're limited by how much time we can spend underwater and what we can do. You know, you don't generally get friends groups that come and weed every Sunday underwater. You know, I don't get too depressed. The reason being apparently it was a lot worse in the 70s. There was carnage. Um, places were called abiotic. And, you know, you couldn't swim in a lot of places. So water quality has really improved since then. And I think we can do more. I think we just need to get the political will and the resources to fund some of the cleanups that need to take place.